Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in my Walksnail playlist. Do you want your Walksnail OSD to look like this? Or like this? Or like this? Or any color combination you want? I'm Rogue FPV, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. Beginning with firmware version 27.32.10, you have the option for custom OSD in the goggle menu, and you can use the custom OSD to create any number of colored OSD fonts that you can select based on craft or flying location. I've always had a hard time seeing the white DJI OSD when flying in hazy skies or against concrete, but now I can select a high contrast OSD color for those flight missions. The first thing you'll need to do is go to Walksnail or Caddx and get the FC OSD fonts update RAR file and save it on your computer. Link below in the video description. Use WinRAR or 7-Zip to unzip the RAR file. Once you unzip and open the file folders, you'll find the fontupdate.ini file, a readme file that tries to explain how to change and install the fonts, and four PNG files, two titled for ArduPilot and two titled for Betaflight. The font PNG file names can be confusing. They should have been named small font and large font. Let's rename the four PNG files now so the process is less confusing. Rename the two user underscore ardu dot PNG files to large underscore two four dot PNG and large underscore three six dot PNG. Rename the two user underscore BF dot PNG files as small underscore two four dot PNG and small underscore 36.png. The now labeled large font is similar to Betaflight Vision, and the underscore 24 in the name is for 720p scaling, the underscore 36 is for 1080p scaling. The small font is similar to Betaflight's default OSD font and has an image for 720p scaling and 1080p scaling as well. You can toggle between each in the goggles. And this is working for all flight control systems now, not just Betaflight, but iNav, KISS, Fettec, EmuFlight, and Arducopter. Before I explain how to modify the fontupdate.ini file, let's modify the font colors. I'm using GIMP to do this. It's a free download, link in the description below, and it's a real quick and simple process to replace colors. I'll drag in my first image, large underscore 24.png and blow this up full screen. You can use the plus and minus keys to zoom in and out and scroll up and down with the mouse wheel. I'm using the select by color tool from the toolbar, but you can also use shift and O. This image has two colors that you can choose to modify, the white and the black. In this example, I'm only gonna change the white, but just know you can modify the black outline as well. I'll select the white area, then choose the bucket fill tool or shift plus B. I'll select my fill color from the palette and fill the selection. Once you're satisfied with your changes, click on File, Export As, Export Image as a PNG to the original location and with the original name. Overwrite the original by clicking Replace. Now I append the image name with the color and repeat with the same color for the large underscore 36.png file. For the small underscore 24 and small underscore 36.png files, I'll do another color, and I'll show you the font size difference later in the video. Again, I'll append the names of the files for each when done. Now, just to show you that you can have as many color versions as you want, let's make a copy of the large font files and modify them again. I'll rename these red underscore 24 and red underscore 36.png 
but you can name them whatever you want as long as you keep the underscore 24.png and the underscore 36.png extensions. I'll modify them in GIMP and re-export them with a the color change. Now we have three versions of our font image files. Gold large, green small, and red. Now let's open up the INI file in Notepad and talk about what's going on with this thing before we modify it. Count. This is where you specify the number of custom font sets you have. In the case of my example, I created a third set of images so I will modify this value and set it as 3. Below that, we have 1 equals user underscore ardu and 2 equals user underscore bf. This is where we specify the name values that go along with our count equals 3. We named our font image sets as gold underscore large, green underscore small, and red. So I'll modify the names here and add a third for red. Now all we have to do is modify the profiles below so that the profile names and the image names are correct. Change user underscore ardu to gold underscore large. Change the image name for 720 equals gold underscore large underscore 24 dot png. Change the image name for 1080p equals gold underscore large underscore 36 dot png. Don't make any changes to the font width or the font height values or it will break the OSD and you'll get gibberish. Repeat the changes below, changing user underscore BF to green underscore small and modifying the image names. Now let's make a third profile for our red font. Copy and paste the small profile below and rename it as red following the conventions above. Once done, save the font underscore update dot INI file. Now we're ready to update the font on the goggles. Take the font underscore update dot INI and the six PNG files and copy them to your goggles SD card. Put the SD card back in the goggles and power up your goggles and Woxnail quad. Once booted up, go to the settings, display, update fonts. Click yes to confirm the update. Set the font type as custom and select from each of the different fonts below using enter to select. Being able to change these on the fly in the field based on scenery or lighting is pretty clutch to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. After you update your OSD fonts, you may want to adjust the position as the scaling is not perfect yet. You can do that in settings, display, OSD position, and use the joystick to move the OSD around the screen. And that's all there is to it. I hope I've made the process easier to understand for you guys. Before we wrap up, I just want to add that if you only want versions of the larger or smaller font sizes, you can. Personally, I have three different colored fonts, all using the larger font size only. You can create as many font colors as you want using whichever the two font sizes you like. Just make sure your count number matches the number of profiles you create, and the image names are matching for each set and include the underscore 24 and underscore 36.png. You guys can learn more about the Woxnail avatar system and pick one up for yourself at the link below. It really helps support my channel. Thanks again for watching. As always, if you found this content helpful, please like and subscribe for more. Please take a look at my other Woxnail avatar videos and my Just the Tip series for other general tips and tricks on how to make your FPV easier.